All right, guys, today's training, it was bench and squats for six sets of three. And Friday right now is always an AMRAP day. So on the very last set, I'm going for as many reps as possible. I tend to just call that set a plus set. But you'll see my last warm-up set and then the first, fourth, and sixth sets of each exercise. This is the first set of bench here. And I didn't need as many warm-up sets on bench, so the training was kind of staggered. I started the warm-ups for both lifts at the same time, but ended up at my working weight on bench much earlier. So I was actually about two sets ahead. But you'll see the sets in the order that they occurred. So that was my last warm-up set on squats. Rocking the new Candido Training HQ shirt, Think Deep, Squat Deeper. And technically that's incorrect grammar, but think deeply, squat more deeply just doesn't quite work that well. So I'm very happy and very much agree with the quote on the shirt. Love this shirt. This will definitely be one of my favorites. And Candido has an awesome channel. Really spreading the word about powerlifting and just creating a community of powerlifters. A lot like the one with natural bodybuilders. And... I'm definitely glad to be a part of both of those communities. YouTube's making it happen. This is my fourth set here. Just got a little bit different angle. And shout out to Dollar General too. That's where these shorts are from. My younger brother actually got me these shorts. So I'm not sure if it's the shorts or the shirt that made this such a good day today. They're both new. Well, everything was feeling good. I knew at the beginning of the day that it was going to be a good day. And my iPhone crapped out on me here. I got seven reps and probably had another one in the tank. Fortunately, bench is not the lift I really wanted to film, um, but that is progress, so I was happy with bench too. And after bench and squats, I also had dumbbell overhead press, some calf presses on the leg press, and some back extensions, but I didn't film any of that. Just filmed the stuff that's important to me. I'll just let you guys watch this last set of squats here. guys I'm heading home to have lunch now um, this is also my post-workout meal just had a really good training session it was six sets of three on squat and bench with a plus set at the end I was working with 345 on squats and 200 on bench got eight reps on my plus set my AMRAP set on squats which is only 25 pounds from my eight rep all-time PR was really pleased with that and then on bench, I got seven reps with 200, which is a little bit better than last time. And I'm not even sure that my phone recorded that whole set as I'm recording this vlog, but I'll go back and check. And you guys will know by now if the set is in this video. But definitely a really good day. I was wearing the new Candido shirt, which despite its incorrect grammar, will definitely be one of my favorite shirts. And it may be lucky. So definitely will wear this shirt quite a bit. You guys will probably get tired of it along with the rest of the shirts you see me wearing all the time. But I'm um, going to go home and make something to eat. And I'm house sitting, so I'm a little bit closer to work. I have to go back later, but I'm close enough this week that I can go home for lunch with no problem. And that really does make me enjoy my training a little bit more because I look forward to the post-workout meal. Glad I get to go home and enjoy this one. Um, Macros right now are loosely 200 protein, 415 carbs, 70 fat, and yesterday I actually didn't even track macros all day. I ended up plugging everything in at the end of the day, just going by recall, which really isn't that accurate for the most part, but just did my best, just really to make sure that I was hitting my protein and because I'm OCD, like I've told you guys, but ended up being pretty close on everything, so worked out pretty well. 
didn't weigh myself because I didn't bring my body weight scale to the house I'm staying at and just didn't care but I'm probably right around 170 judging by the way my weight's been climbing steadily right around the 170 pounds body weight and squatted 345 a little over double body weight today for a total of 23 reps so that was pretty good bench went well too never goes quite as well as squats because I'm a t-rex but that's all right it's definitely pleased with the day and if this meal is worth showing you guys I will but I might just kind of rush it a little I do that quite a bit especially on post-workout meals so if it's ugly I'm not going to show you but if you made it this far I appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon I'm back at the house I'm about to make some corned beef hash I've seen this before but I've never tried it it's the 50% reduced fat kind I'm just going to cook it in their cast iron skillet and I'll probably have some toast with it because I like bread a lot um, yeah I'll show you guys this in a second when I turn the camera around there it is 50% reduced fat corned beef hash, Hormel brand. Here's the macros. One cup, 236 grams is 12 fat, 24 carbs, 21 protein, with 2 grams of fiber. I'm probably going to use about one serving. I'll actually just weigh it out and store the rest in the fridge. Because um, I don't really want to use 24 grams of fat in one meal. But yeah. I love corned beef hash, so we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I've heard good things about this. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at it. The hash is frying. Gonna let it get crispy. Also got some toast. Some toast over here. It's just Sara Lee. The light. 45 calorie brand. And I'm going to add a slice of this too. Macros on this are pretty good. Four fat, zero carbs, and that's five protein per slice. Probably just going to add one slice. And I'll show you guys the finished product. And there's the plated product. I've actually put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at this point just so that cheese would melt a little bit. But this looks pretty good. I was thinking about adding some hot sauce, but I think I'm just going to have it as is. Because this is my first time trying that. So I want to see how it tastes on its own. But I have a feeling it's going to be quite tasty. The dreaded last bite. There's food on my thumb.